Hello, and welcome to the weekly Course in Miracles group coaching call or Course in Miracles group study call. I am your friend, I am your partner, and your brother, and your host and facilitator of the call, Max Ryan, and it's so beautiful to have you all here tonight. We are just getting started, and um, if you are new to the, the call, we welcome you. We welcome all of our brothers and sisters here because, um, as the Course in Miracles would say, there is only one of us here. There is what? There's only what? One of us. One of us. One of us here. There's only one of us here. Although it seems like there's five of us here, there seems to be <laughs> only there is only one of us here. So, um, and that, and and I'll have to say is that one of the um, the real principles of a course in miracles, and I think of all great spiritual teaching, is to realize that we have come here to heal our separation from. Um, the source or God um, and our separation from our brothers and sisters and our separation from ourselves. And that is that is really one of the, um, I would say, one of the minor goals of the Course is to heal the separation. But the main goal of A Course in Miracles is our inner peace. What is the main goal, everyone? Our inner peace. 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 Oh, my God, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Bless you. Can you stop that coming? Thank you. Bless me. Bless you. <laughs> so I love it. So one of the the main goals the main goal is, and it's stated in the Course of Miracles, is that the goal is inner peace. That's why the um the first publishers of the the Course of Miracles were a group of people that started working and studying the Course of Miracles and channeling the Course of Miracles. Um, they they decided that their publication company would be called um, the Foundation for Inner Peace because that is the goal of the Course of Miracles. And the other minor goal is our relation our relationship with the Source and with ourselves. So um, let me just tell you what we're going to be working on tonight before we move into kind of kind of the what we do here is we're going to be working if you have your Course in Miracles. If you don't, it's okay. Um, I strongly suggest that, um, that you pick up a copy of Course in Miracles. Um, it is very often, it is at the, uh, very often on the sale rack uh, at Barnes & Noble. There's a smaller version. It's like kind of a, uh, I mean, it's the same content, but it's a smaller version at Barnes & Noble, and it's usually about $12. I mean, You can't go wrong. So I would suggest that you just pick up, if you are drawn to the call, you probably have a vibration that will resonate with the Course in Miracles on some level. So you might as well have it in your your arsenal of tools. Um, So I would suggest that. So let me tell you what we're going to be working on today. Today we're working on a lesson in the workbook. So we're working on Lesson 47. And Lesson 47 is God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. So you can open your Course in Miracles up to there because we're going to be um, reading from there. And if you and if you don't have it, you're just going to be listening and participating. So let me just tell you how our calls work before we get started. Is that we we have a structure to our um, to our calls. Um, our calls start usually with um, me welcoming you, um, talking about what we're going to do today, and then we share. We have a sharing, which I'll talk more about that. We'll each share a little bit about our lives, and then we will um, go into reading and kind of deconstructing what we're the section of A Course in Miracles that we're working on. And then at the end, we will um, we will do a, um, a wrap up. What you're taking away? What what stood out for you about that lesson? Does that make sense, everyone? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good. All right. So that's what we will do. And um, before we get going, the most, not the most important, but a very important part of our call is to align our vibration with the source. And the most, um, the easiest and straightforward way to do that is to have a prayer. And as the Course in Miracles says, that prayer is the medium of miracles. And a miracle is a shift in our perception. So a prayer shifts our perception so we can have a miracle. Say yes if that sounds good. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Everyone say, I love a miracle. I love a miracle. I love a miracle. I love a miracle. Awesome. Okay. So everyone just um, shut your eyes in this moment. Take a deep breath. Feel yourself calm. Feel yourself centered. Feel yourself present in this moment only. And we take another deep breath. Dear Mother, Father, God, Divine Source, Universe, all that is, we come together today with open hearts, open minds, and an open spirit. We allow today to be a time of love, a time of support and guidance for everyone here on the call and everyone listening to the replay. We ask that this time be filled with revelations, insights, confirmations, and, of course, this time be filled with love to let go of any blocks that are keeping the presence of love in our consciousness. We pray in this moment that we let all those blocks go so that we can dedicate ourselves to the flow, to the spirit and energy of love. And we take a big deep breath. And together we say thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so it is. So it is. So it is. Amen. 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 Woohoo. I love it. Okay. Good. So um, I just want to make sure that good, I everyone. <laughs> yeah, you all sound good. You sound very high vibration. Um, I know. Let's go through here. We have um, Marguerite. We have Barbara. We have Dell. And somebody else did um, Sparkle. Is that you? That's Sparkle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because Sparkle it's sparkles sparkle. with her energy. I love it. Um, is there anyone that I didn't say hello to? Marguerite, Barbara, Dell, or Sparkle? Good. Okay, great. So this is the, um, the time in our call where we share a little bit about ourselves, about our journey, about what's working, or maybe what's not working. We're just here to witness each other. This is the, the section of the call where we, um, we really bond and see that there is only one of us here. Because for everyone's successes and challenges, they are our successes and challenges because we can relate to them on a very, very, very significant and fundamental level that we are all going through the same. (laughs) What came to my mind was the same crap. (laughs) <laughs> we're all going to do the same crap. Very good. No, there's no difference between my crap and your crap, and there's no difference between my joy and your joy, and my love and your love. It's all the same thing. It's all what? It's all the same thing. Same crap. It's same all thing. the same crap. It's all the same love. It's all the same joy. So this is where we can really relate to ourselves and testify for each other and be a witness to each other's um, existence on this planet and uh, and a witness to where you are on your journey. I don't know about you, but for me, I feel great comfort and great joy from being able to share and have other people um, relate and have compassion for my journey. Um, do Do you feel the same way? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. For sure. You know, I've um, I've done a lot of studying in my life, spiritual studying, academic studying, artistic studying, and marketing studying. And one of my um, one of the great guys I've worked with is Michael Loge. And Michael Loge talking about, you know, helping people and building businesses and, and spreading, you know, law of attraction around the world is that, you know, people come for the content. They come because this is about peace, this is about love, this is about positive results. But what they really stay for is the community. They come for content. They stay for community. And I feel the same way. I will stay with a group because the people 
I love them like I love you. Right. You're not my followers. You're my family. And I keep doing this because I love you, and it's the family, and it's the community. And that community is is one of the things that's the most important thing in the world. So I will go first in sharing um, what's going on with me. And, yeah, so um, just to break the ice. I just do this to break the ice. It doesn't mean I'm more important than anyone else. It doesn't matter. Um, Is that um, this week, um, since I've spoken to you last, I started to – I attracted – I have been very – you know, I've been feeling very, very, very – um, frustrated in the last few months with social media. And in my business, what I do, helping people and everything, social media um, is is something that you just kind of have to do. I mean, you don't have to do anything, but um, social media is something, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, blah, 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 blah. Well, it really started to feel like pushing a rock up the hill in my business to do all the social media. It was just like, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, and then I started to be like, you know what, I need to attract, I need to, I need God, source, or energy to, to bring me something that feels so much better. And so um, and one of the things that really came to me in the last few Instagram, Instagram, I like Instagram a lot more. Facebook I like, but it's just too much. It's too much work. <laughs> Do you all know what I mean? It's too much work. Mm-hmm. It's too much work. Oh, yeah. And it's uh-huh. too much back and forth and it's too much like, ay, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't feel like a vibration that I want to stay in for very long. But I keep doing it because I'm supposed to. My ego saw me, I'm supposed to do Facebook, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So I do it. And sometimes I really love it, but a lot of times it feels very hard. So I just wanted to attract something that felt more smooth, more easy. Well, about 10 days ago, I attracted something called Periscope, which I had never heard about. And Periscope is the is a complete match for me. It is a social media platform based on live streaming groups. So I was like, wait a second. This feels good. This feels good. I like that. And it's fun and it's interesting and so many people from around the world scoping from Paris, scoping from Australia, scoping from Guam. And, you know, it could be menial stuff or it's very valuable stuff or interesting. And I was like, this might be my thing. So I've been scoping. I've been doing morning meditations. I did a a beautiful Reiki session with the scopers this afternoon. And you know what? It's – whoa. Um <laughs> Just to let you know really quickly, if you have a lot of background noise, you can hit star four. Oh, is it's that a, a train. The train. I the train, train right outside coming. my house. I live in a beautiful <laughs> forest with a creek, but I have a train. Oh, my gosh. I <laughs> but I don't mind. The train. <gasps> the I love the forest train. make up for it. <sighs> this guy's kind of, we have different eagles running the trains. I like the train. I like the train. It was beautiful. But just because, I mean, Margaret, since you're new, just in, just in case, everything is fine. Just in case, and I didn't say I it before in housekeeping, is that you can do uh, four star. It's either four star or star four to mute yourself I if did, you need. I did. Go ahead. I did star four. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, then, it's, then it's four star. <laughs> but you know okay. what? The, the train's gone now, so it's all okay. <laughs> I'll do it. Hang on. I'd, ra- I'd rather you stay online. So. Oh, shoot. So, yeah. yeah. It was invalid. Hang on. Okay. It was star four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Um, let's move on. So, um, yeah, just so everyone knows, it's either it's star four to mute yourself on this line, or you can use your phone. Um, all right, so I attracted Periscope, and I'm, I'm having the best time with it. It's just fantastic, and it really eases up so many things in my life. I just have a good time with it, um, and that's my big thing. I mean, really, it just has felt so good, and it, it really, really, really was an answer to my question. I asked the universe, you know what? 
I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I want something else. And this is really a match for me. So, you know what? It comes back to our lesson 47. God is the strength in which I trust, actually. I just trusted. I was like, you know what? I don't know. But this doesn't feel right. And it came to me. So Periscope is a really fun thing. And, um, and we'll talk about that more later. But um, that is my sharing. And also, I'm very excited really quickly. Really quickly. I'm very excited that next week my colleague Polly Wyram is coming down from the last time we're doing an event here about divine messages. We're doing the divine messages live at my church. So that's really fun, too. So I feel honored to be able to deliver these messages. So so that's what's going on. And my hair is growing. (laughs) Yeah, so um, I'm in the process of allowing myself to be a little bit of a rock star at 50 years old. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> all right. So we all live That's in that. a yellow submarine. That, well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I love it. All right, so that is my sharing, and in the sharing part, um, we just keep moving on. Who would like to state their name and share what they want about their life or about their spiritual path? Who is next? Please state your name first. Sparkle. Hey, Sparkle. What's up? Hey. Well, stop me if I said this last week, but it was such an amazing experience. Um, You know, I, I, I was sick, and then I had to go and get a huge dose of, prednisone, which affects me very adversely, and I was fighting. But then I, I realized, no, don't fight. Just, you know, just let it be. So I did. And this friend said, well, go to Jesus and, and just let him minister to you. So I did that. And the most ama- I mean, it was just what kept going through my mind was the veil was torn um, most of the time, you know, I if I if I think about talking to to uh, well, Holy Spirit, Jesus, my higher self, um, I have this thing where I don't want them to see me because I feel so unworthy, ugly, horrible. Well, I didn't have any of that. I just allowed myself to be there and ministered to, and what I saw. I saw it so more clearly than than I had before, but it was it was all of us without the separation, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the body of Christ, the face, whatever. It was all of us ministering to the me in the dream, you know, that was needy and and it was so um healing. And and not just it, not just like emotionally, mentally, whatever. But I mean, I bounced back from this thing so quickly. This, you know, the prednisone, the lung thing. I'm feeling so good, and I'm. Um, I just keep hearing the the veil was rent, r e n t, rent, like torn. Like now, the 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 delusion, the illusions. Um, aren't as frightening or they're not as, I don't perceive them as I did. I just see beauty over, over there. It's not over there. It's here. Okay, I know that, but I just say over there. But that it is the holy self is us and just loving to, to reach out and to, to help us here in the dream. And I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but I just feel a lot of peace with it, and I feel um, I feel I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to to try to you know don't want anybody to see. I'm fine as I am, and I don't know. I just feel really good. And you know, all it kept coming back to me that what we said, what you said, what we read last week. I am not a small creature with a small life. And that just has been echoing through my mind. And when I sit with the people that are dying, I say that. I don't say it out loud, but I say it in there with them. And 
and it's true for me too. But I'm I'm just getting so much from from these meetings. And I want to say one thing, Ed. If you're out there and you're listening to the tape, come back. We miss you. <laughs> you're so sweet. Yes, of course. We love it. But he, you know, it's late for him, and sometimes he works a lot hard. But let me just say something really quickly. I mean, it really does come back to that. that I mean, there's so much. Last week, and if you haven't listened to the, the tape of last week, I'm telling you, please go to the um, Google Plus community and listen to that tape of last week because it was one of the most beautiful lessons, I mean, really, the freedom of will about our co-creation and about how he is just, it is just waiting for us, <laughs> just waiting for us. And we keep perceiving ourselves as a little creature with a little light instead yes. of the light of the world. And we are the light of the world. We can, and I'm just so, so happy for you because you do so much amazing work in the world that, you know, ultimately it is not, and I love what you said, it's not about what you say, it's about who you are. You don't have to say any of it. It's about who you are, how you keep reminding yourself to be who you really are, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful testimony. I love it. Good for you. Well, I hope you. it made sense. It's so hard to put into words, but, you know, just the beauty of the holy self without separation, and, and, and I could see that. Because it's beyond words, Barbara. It's a feeling. It's a vibration. So it's beyond words. So thank you for sharing. Great. Who is next that wants to share? Hi, it's Barbara. I will go next. You know, Sparkle, I am so thrilled with what you shared with us tonight because um, I had been going through a situation where, well, a lot of things were not working in my life, but it was my choice, and my choice now is to change and have fun and enjoy. And I've had a few challenges with the cellulitis and things, and I'm getting better and better and better every day. But, you know, life goes on, and we just have to find the humor in it and the joy. Um, I've been down with my daughter for a little while, and um, amazingly, wonderful great things are happening in our life. And I think she's starting to see a little bit of the universe, which makes me very, very happy. And I'm living to change. I want to be, oh, last night, an old, old friend of mine called, a very special friend from Wisconsin. Um, and we talked for a while and on and on. But, you know, the thing I want to share with people tonight is something that I've done all my life in the last, the last 10 years. Whenever I call someone, whether I'm calling to pay a bill, I'm calling for this or that, and I have someone online helping me, I just appreciate all they do and taking their time, and I ask to talk to their supervisor. So, and then from there, I give them an out of girl or an out of boy. And it's amazing the different things that can happen in life. And this past Monday, I lost my debit card. So I called my bank, and I got a wonderful lady by the name of Martha. And she helped me get through it, and which was very simple to do. And then I said, she said, is there anything else I can do for you? And I did mention I wanted to talk to her supervisor. And she said, oh, well, thank you very much. And um, I said, I also want you to have a week. And that was very mm-hmm. interesting because she went on and she said, and to you, Barbara, I want you to have a happy birthday. You know, I was shocked because my birthday actually is a week from tomorrow. But, you know, she took the time, the personal time to care. And I did mention it to her supervisor. I got to talk to her. And it's actually going out to over a thousand people in the in this fun banking situation. That she took her time to that special little thought. And it's the first time anybody has ever done that. <clears throat> I've talked to the IRS. They have sent me know, cards and letters and all kinds of different people. But, you know, to say thank you. And to appreciate the one. And to love them as well as myself. And hopefully they will go on and love others. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. So that's my share. I love And, you know, really what you just, what you just said about, um, about your intention about people is really... That's what the Course in Miracles mm-hmm. is really about. The Course in Miracles okay, is mean, about what you bring to any situation is what you experience, and it is a healing, and it's a healing. Our, our brothers and sisters are not our enemies. 
they are our brothers and sisters. And Absolutely. we and the ego will have us believe that they are our enemy, that we have to fight against them. And that is not what we're talking about here in the Course in Miracles. For sure. No, no, no. Well, thank no, no. you, I mean, Barbara. Nice, oh, you're welcome. The other thing is the nice part of all is when I talk to the supervisors, you know, they very rarely get someone saying, I'm not getting a compliment. Usually they're all set, you know, their back is up or they're free, you know, whatever, you know, for someone complaining, complaining. And it's such a joy. I love doing it. Yeah. That comes okay, back to the whole, ra- the whole random act of kindness kind of thing. Do you go out yeah. of your way to do something that will help somebody or that is a true true to what your experience is. So, yay, but Barbara. It takes, but I know. Thank you. And it only takes a few minutes, you know? Yeah. A few minutes in life. And those few minutes can change everything. They can change everything. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank oh. you. Thank you, Barbara. Have, I'm glad to have you back on the call. Okay. I'm glad so to be back have, too. Good. We have um, Dell and Marguerite um, on um, on deck, as they say in baseball. Who would like to go hmm. first, Dell or Marguerite? And you don't have to. And, and Marguerite, okay, I have to tell time. you, you you it's your first time here. So you you listen. It's it's all new to you. So you you can share a little bit, a lot. You can just be like, "Wow, I love sunflowers." Whatever you want to say, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so Marguerite can go next, or Dell. Okay, <clears throat> Marguerite. Um, I guess real quick wrap up. I'm 57. Uh, I'm coming and just healing from severe post traumatic. I got very ill. I was dying two months ago. Miraculously, I'm healed. I was over medicated, also, and um, right. so I've been studying this most of my life, and and I'm really blessed to be able to share this, or you guys all sharing with us. And um, my life is, yeah, it's complicated, but it will be awesome here soon. Your life is I in the process of be- your your life is in the process of becoming a miracle. You know, uh, yeah, I'm meant oh neurologically and brain damaged from being beat. Um, I shouldn't be even able to speak, and I can. I am in my dreams of, non, of what I want to see happen is starting to come full circle. So yeah, yes. I'm alive. You know, I feel I'm twelve. I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so – everyone, give Marguerite a big round of applause. Yay, Marguerite. So glad Thank that you you're to here. Thank you to my babe. And as a, as a near-death survivor myself, I understand that. And I'm telling you, every day is a blessing. Every day is a chance to start anew. So, um, I mean, really, it's it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful thing that you are – that you're here to keep shining your light, right, Marguerite? Yeah, my therapist that I had to say goodbye to told me that today she was introducing me to a new one, how much light and love and healing I brought, and I never knew it. And it was like, wow. And I had to take, I mean, I had to accept that. There was a time I wouldn't be able to accept that about myself. Mm-hmm. Until, so today, and, 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 until you almost lost your life and came back. Uh-huh. Well, for five years. Nice. Nice. Like numerous well, times, you know but. But what? Well, now my dreams get to become reality. That's right. Of course they do. Of course they do. And they I'm are. so pl- I'm pr- so privileged that you are here. I'm so happy that you have joined joined us for for these calls. And it's it's wonderful to have you here, and wonderful to have you know your light shining here with us. So thank you, Marguerite. Thank you. Great to have you here. Great, Del. Um, right back at all of you. Oh, you're so welcome. Um, Del, what would you like to share? Uh, okay, I'll share the. I'll I'll share all pretty much all of it. I'll try to. I've been. I have my per, first. Prayer vigil through last prayer uh, call last night. And it went very well. I was amazed. It was so energetic, and it's I've already got feedback from it, and it's done a lot of good. 
perfect. Brilliant. That made me, I was happy that it did. I love doing them. They're just very powerful. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Beautiful. Yeah. And another thing is I've been working on for the last few weeks, meditation audios, and I'm on my last one now. Trying to change the background mm-hmm. audio. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I want to interrupt you. Were you going to say something else, though? Uh, no, that was it. That was all my news. It's what I'm working on. It's like I feel very good. and I'm following spirit and doing these meditation audios. Great. I'm so glad that you're doing that. You know, Dell has a great gift for healing, and Dell has a, is an incredible intuitive and um, and a light worker. So, um, Dell, um, I'm so glad that you are stepping up to you being able to um, just share share the light with the world and in any form, whatever form it comes. Right, Dell? Yes. Yeah. Comes in many forms, and I love that. It's like me too. Me too. All right, let's all take a deep breath. Come back to ourselves, come back to our spirit, and see how everyone here sharing is part of us. So, um, I want to, hmm. Okay, let's go into lesson 47. We have about... uh, uh, We have about 25 minutes, so we're going to read a little bit, and this is what we do here, is we read um, the section from The Course in Miracles. Um, I will follow my intuition as to when to to stop and and ask questions or clarifications. But one of the most beautiful things really about A Course in Miracles is the the words, is the, the, the vibration that how Jesus dictated this words through Helen Shipman um, and how the the cadence of the words comes out because the cadence of the words really shift, really shift our vibration. So we are going to, I'm going to read the first part. And as we read the first part, just um, get into a relaxed, receptive state. And here is lesson 47. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. If you are trusting in your own strength, you have every reason to be apprehensive, anxious, and fearful. I'm going to read that again. If you are trusting in your own strength, you have every reason to be apprehensive, anxious, and fearful. What can you predict or control? What is there in you that can be counted on? What would give you the ability to be aware of all the facets of any problem and to resolve them in such a way that only good can come of it? What is there in you that gives you the recognition of the right solution and the guarantee that it will be accomplished. Hmm. That's the first paragraph, and there's so many things about that paragraph that all of us can relate to, and myself I can relate to very much, is that and I, the, the first sentence really does say it. If um, if and you know what, there's another thing I will say is that we kind of introduced this last week is that sometimes you can, I mean, you can choose to read The Course of Miracles as first person. And when you read it, read it as first person, it's, it's very powerful. So, for example, instead of saying if you, you say if I. If I am trusting in my own strength, I have every reason to be apprehensive, anxious, and fearful. So, if we're trusting in our own strength, if we're trusting in our own way, then you know what? We are fearful. We're apprehensive. We're crazy. We're crazy. Uh, And that's what he's saying here. I'm going to go on. He says, of yourself, you can do none of these things. To believe that you can is to put your trust 
where trust is unwarranted and to justify fear, anxiety, depression, anger, and sorrow. Excuse me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, sorry, I to say it. I'm going to read that again. Of yourself, you can do none of these things, meaning you can't find the right solution. You can't guarantee that all is accomplished. We can do none of these things. And to believe that we can is to put our trust where trust is unwarranted and to justify fear, to justify anxiety, (laughs) depression, anger, and sorrow. Who can put his faith in weakness and feel safe? Yet who can put his faith in strength and feel weak? God is your safety in every circumstance. His voice speaks for him in all situations and in every aspect of all situations, telling you exactly what to do to call upon his strength and his protection. There is no exceptions because God has no exceptions. That's huge. That's huge. There are no exceptions. Our ego will always be like, well, I can handle this one. I can do this one without you. I can make my business work. I can make my relationships work. I don't really need you. I'm okay on that front. But right here he says, God has no exceptions. There are no exceptions because God has no exception. And the voice which speaks for him thinks as he does. So, there. I mean, I'm going to pause right here and just say this. You know, we are in the ego mind. The ego mind likes to be like we're very compartmentalized. We go, well, I'm okay in this area, but I'm not in this area. But I'm okay in this area, but I'm not in this area. He is saying right here, Jesus is saying right in the Course in Miracles, there is no exceptions. It's all the same. It's all the same. All the same. God is your safety in every circumstance. In every circumstance. His voice speaks for him in all situations, not in just some situations. Not when you just go, oh, well, I'm just going to think on my own. I got it, God. Don't worry about me. Do, do you understand what I'm saying, everyone? Yes or no? Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you very much. Because, I mean, honestly, if you look at it, if you look at it, your life, and go, where am I keeping God out of my life? Is it in my business? Is it in my relationships? Is it in my finances? Is it in my relationship with myself? One of some of there's an area in your life that you're keeping God out. And you know, the acronym for ego is edging God out. What's the acronym for ego? Edging Edging God God out. out. (laughs) That's right. And he says right here, God is your safety in every circumstance. Every circumstance. So invite him in. And I'll be honest with you, you know, I have areas where I'm like, I've got this down, I'm smart, I've gone to school, I freaking know, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, I feel like shit in that area. I'm like, oh, I wonder why. Because I'm not letting God do his job. We're co-creating with God. Okay, let's just open this up here. Um, What is this bringing up for anyone? Any challenges, any realizations, any ah ahas? Who would like to speak first? Please state your name. You know, this is Barbara. You know, we're talking about anxiety and fear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, I can do it all the time if I want to. I choose, but I choose not to now. Um, I've had an interesting last two weeks. You know, we need to walk in love. We need to be, when you talk of trust, trust is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And knowing that it's there, we just have to allow it to be and not not ourselves try to be God, but allow God to be with us. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that, do you, do you, does that make sense? I mean, really. It does. You know, and people in this world is such a negative, negative world, and always what is wrong, and what is wrong, what is wrong. And, you know, it doesn't get them anywhere at all. It doesn't. It, doesn't. it just drives them. Oh, I mean, you talk about the crap, right, exactly. 
you know, and I've had my share yeah. the last couple of weeks. <laughs> you know, I choose to go positive and just relax. Take a deep breath. Yeah. And, get, and wait and have patience, and it will come. It's there. Because mm-hmm. God wants you know, us I, to be very happy and joyful. I thought about this earlier. Thank you, Barbara. A friend of mine and I were talking, and she had a big realization, a big aha. You know, you, do you all know you know, how in traditional, especially Christianity, one of the things in Christianity is that they say, um, my will is God's. God's will is, my will is God's will. Okay? So sometimes that's like, oh, no, it's not. No, it's really not. But if you can change that to, to God's, um, God's how is my how. You know, it's the how that we have a problem with, how it's going to happen, how it's going to work out, how we want to orchestrate exactly how it's going to work out, and then we're like, what if it doesn't happen in that way? We're angry, we're mad, we're depressed. But ultimately, God's will, its will, life's will is our will. So our how Just allow the how to unfold in a way that feels natural, that feels good, that feels supportive of everything. So I I actually just wanted to say that. All right, does this bring up anything else with anyone anyone here on the call, Sparkle or Margarita or Dell? Okay, coming from originally Catholic upbringing, and then, of course, I studied many other religions. Um, my biggest thing of where I am keeping God out is having money because I was never material. And um, I now have it coming to me in ways I didn't know it was going to come, but that's where I was. I believed in him for everything else, but I didn't want to ask. For that. Ah. Why didn't you want to ask? Oh, probably that good old Catholic woman. <laughs> um, the guilt, guilt, right? The Catholic guilt thing. Ta-da. Yeah, me too. Ego. I was Catholic. Ta-da. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now you've shifted, right, Marguerite? Something shifted in you? Huge. 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 Like in the last yeah. few days. So, yeah. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Whew. I love it. Unlearning what oh. we have learned. Very good. And, you know, learning is only is one thing when it's an intellectual understanding, but learning when it's actually walking through the world and doing the work is a whole different thing, a whole different thing. So good for you, Marguerite. Yay. 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 Do it without everybody's help. Okay, very good. everybody else. Thank you. Yeah. I wouldn't be doing it without all the help. Of course. You know what? Because there's so only one of us here. There's, there's, help, there's help all around you. So, good. Yep. I love it. Yes. All right. Unless, um, Del, do you want to say anything, or we we will keep reading on? I'll go ahead. I'm just enjoying the, just taking it all in. Okay. Okay. So, um, and the, before I read this fourth paragraph, you know, the, um, the Course in Miracles, if you have not done it, the Course in Miracles is very direct. It's very what? It's very direct. direct. It tells you exactly, you know, he tells you, Jesus tells us all through the Course in Miracles and, and in, the, in the lessons especially, he tells us, do this. Say this every hour on the hour. Do this, do this, do this. So the next section in the lesson is him telling us a little more directive. So let's just keep going. So I'm just going to recap here. He, the end of um, chapter 3, I mean, yeah, chapter 3, is he says, there are no exception be, abse- exceptions because God has no exceptions. And the voice which speaks for him thinks as he does. Today, we will reach past your own weakness to the source of real strength. Four five-minute practice periods are necessary today, and longer and more frequent ones are, are urged. Close your eyes and begin 
as usual by repeating the idea for the day. Then spend a minute or two in searching for situations in your life which you have invested with fear, dismissing each one by telling yourself, God is the strength in which I rest. So this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to take you through just a short little um, thing. Everyone close your eyes. Say yes when you're when you've closed your eyes. Yes. 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 Good. Take a deep breath. Yes. And repeat after me. God is the strength in which I rest. 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 God is. God is. God is. The strength. The strength. The strength. In which. I trust. In which. In which. I rest. I rest. I rest. Take a deep breath. And repeat after me. This is actually the true lesson. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. God is. God is. God is. The strength. The strength. In which. In which. In which. I trust. I trust. I trust. Take a deep breath. Now, I'd like you to go inside. Look at your life right now. And find a situation in your life which you have invested with fear which you have invested with judgment, which you have invested with guilt or sacrifice. Look at that situation. It could be a relationship. It could be a career. It could be money. It could be anything. But look at that situation in this moment in your mind's eye. It's that situation that feels, ugh, that feels hard, that feels fearful, that feels crazy. And look at that situation and repeat after me. God is the strength. God is the strength. God is the strength. In which I trust. In which, in I, which trust. I trust. Now, closing your eyes and letting that situation go, try to slip past all concerns related to our own, your own sense of inadequacy around this situation. It is obvious that in any situation that causes you concern is associated with feelings of inadequacy. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not further enough on the path. You don't have a money mindset. You're stupid. You're ugly. You're fat. All of those feelings of inadequacy. So it's obvious that any situation that causes you concern is associated with feelings of these inadequacies. For otherwise, you would believe that you could deal with the situation successfully. It is not by trusting yourself that you will gain confidence. It is not by trusting yourself that you will gain confidence. It is not by trusting yourself that you will gain confidence. But the strength of God in you 
is successful in all things. The strength of God in you is successful in all things. Take a deep breath. The strength of God in you is successful in all things. The recognition of your own frailty is a necessary step in correction of your errors, but is hardly sufficient one in giving you the confidence which you need, to which you are entitled you must also gain an awareness that confidence in your real strength is fully justified in every respect and in all circumstances. God is the strength in which I trust. God is the strength in which I trust. Take a deep breath. Now reach down into your mind to a place of real safety. Reach down into yourself of a place of real safety. You will recognize that you have reached it if you feel a sense of deep peace. However briefly, let go of all the trivial things that churn and bubble on the surface of your mind. Let go of all the trivial things that churn and bubble on the surface of your mind. And reach down and below them to the kingdom of heaven. Reach down and below them to the kingdom of heaven. There is a place in you where there is a perfect peace. There is a place in you where nothing is impossible. There is a place in you where the strength of God abides. There is a place in you where the strength of God abides. Take a deep breath. And slowly open open your eyes and come back. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, yes. I really, really, really heard you. Mm, tell me about that, Sparkle. What do you mean? I mean, you hear things, and then you you hear them kind of like the first time. Like, you know, um, wow, the strength of God is in me. And, of course... Of my own, I can do nothing, but the strength of God is in me, mm-hmm. and I believe I believe it. Me too. I know it to be true. What's so beautiful? And I felt so a deep peace. Yeah. What's so beautiful is that what I was doing is I was reading A Course in Miracles. And I'm telling you, I mean, of course, I, I changed a couple of things a little bit here or there, but it really it was just exactly what I was. And if you follow along with the recording, you'll see I just was reading it. Boy, oh, boy, there is truth in these words. There is peace yes. in these words. There is salvation. There is transcendence. There is um, the key to happiness and peace in these words. So I'm so glad. I'm so glad. But I also, you know, I have an intention. And my intention It came alive. You know, what you were saying was real alive. It was alive. Mm, Thank you. I'm glad that that it hit 
hit a chord with you. Uh, did someone else say something? Sorry. Yeah. Um. I know when I was like with the prayer, it's a song. It's silent. Your voice. Um. Wow. I can't explain it. With melodic and soft and safe. It's the tone. Thank you. Yeah. You're Authoritative, so like Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I just, you know, I just channel what's coming through, and this is what it's all about. I just channel it, and you know, um, and the, I, I'll say this: it's it's really not me, you know. It's really this, these ideas and this vibrations coming through me. But I will say this, and I've said it on these calls before: you do. This, The Course in Miracles is not a self-help book. It is not something that you're going to be like, okay, that's what I'm going to do, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get that concept and I'm going to move on. That is not what The Course in Miracles is. The Course in Miracles is a vibrational truth, and if you read it like a self-help book, you will never get it. You will never get it. But if you read it and you savor it and you choose, the words slowly and methodically and let them wash over your spirit. Oh my God. It's amazing. And the only reason that it worked, you know, right in this moment is that I get that. I never, I mean, literally, I'm going to take a little section right here and I'm going to read it like you would read a self-help book. Now, try to slip past all concerns related to your own sense of inadequacy. It's obvious that any, any situation that causes you concern is associated with feelings of inadequacy, for otherwise you would believe that you would deal with situations successfully. It is not by trusting yourself that you will gain confidence, but the strength of God in you is successful in all things. The recognition of your frailty. Okay. That's not the way to read The Course of Miracles. Do you see? That doesn't mean anything. Nothing. But if you say, now, try to slip past all concerns related to your own sense of inadequacy, it is obvious that any situation that causes you concern is associated with feelings of inadequacy. For otherwise, you would believe that you could deal with this situation successfully. Completely different. And all I have to say to you, if you're new to A Course in Miracles or if you've been doing it for a while, there's always room to slow down. <laughs> there's always room to what? Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Because it's in this moment. The ego wants to get it. The ego wants to be like, I understand that. I get it. I'm going to apply that, and I'm going to get the Porsche. Doesn't work. <laughs> I'm going to apply that, then I'm going to Sorry. That's not what we're talking Sorry. about here. And, and I am just as guilty of it as anyone else. But, boy, the real, literal changing of your vibration, of the molecular structure of your spirit, comes in allowing yourself to read it slowly and really get it and do not move on till you get it. Um, can I ask this right. question? Uh, of course. Is that Marguerite? Yeah, the molecular yeah. structure of your spirit. Uh-huh. Okay. What's the question? <laughs> the um, question is the most. Uh, oh, shoot, I didn't know that one was coming, Joke. Um, <laughs> oh, slow down. Slow down, breathe. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Understand it. Don't just jump on through it. I find it, it's, it's challenging. I mean, I love it, but it's, it, it, well, it wouldn't be any fun or it wouldn't be interesting. And I guess we wouldn't grow if it wasn't a challenge, because then we'd be bored. Yes, for sure. Marguerite, 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 have you ever read any of A Course in Miracles? Have you? Um, you know, I books? have. 
Mm -hmm. I've started and stopped, started and stopped, um, and mm -hmm. um, over the last few years. But um, yes, I have. Good. Good. But good, now good. that I'm healed, it's a totally different thing once you're healed, right? Oh my God! The colors and the way I look out at the trees and they're—I've never seen colors the way I see colors now. It's just really quite incredible. Beautiful. So I would really recommend and support you in allowing yourself to just, you know, I feel like so many people say, oh, it's too complicated, it's too da-da-da-da, but what they're doing is they're trying to make this a self-help book, huh? and they're missing the beauty, they're missing the vibrational shift if you just slow the frick down. <laughs> that is the because only time I do slow down. Is... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Marguerite. What did you say? Um, with higher learning, that's one time in my life I do slow down. Here's the deal. I'm going to tell you a very, 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 very powerful metaphysical truth. If you want to go faster, you have to slow the frick down. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to go to a higher vibration, you have to go deep. It's the complete opposite. If you want your business to take off, you better slow down. Because otherwise, all you're doing is you're getting in the hamster wheel of insanity, and it will keep you always wanting more. So you have to slow down. You have to sit with yourself. And then all of a sudden you look out at, at, at the outer world and you're like, whoa, things are going fast. The slower you go, the faster the outer world will happen. Does that make sense, everyone? Yeah. Yes. This is That's my first time cool. alone ever in my mm -hmm. life. Uh -huh. So it's, it's going to be, it's awesome. I mean, I'm blessed. I right now have the time to meet me. I love that. That's right. And you know what? There is no time anyway, so think about that, Mo. I know, huh? <laughs> there is no linear time. So there's no there. There's no, you know, I, I used to say this a lot right. in my teaching. I used to say one of the most important things is, that, is really is what um, uh, Gertrude Stein said in one of her most beautiful poems. There is no there there, so stop trying to get there. It's all here. It's all here. Just be here. And and slowing down helps you to be here. And then all of a sudden you look around your life and you're like, whoa, opportunities, money, relationships, everything is happening. <laughs> well, good. Because you're not trying to get there. You're just here. Just here. All right. Thank you for sharing that, Marguerite. I love that. So... All right, we're going to wrap up because Thank we're you. going a little bit over. So um, this is the part of our call where we kind of just share what we're taking away, and Marguerite kind of shared a little bit. You can share again. But just officially, I want to just open it up to, the, to everyone on the call, to Barbara and to Sparkle, to Daryl and Marguerite. Um, what is it that stands out for you about this Lesson 47 and what we've talking uh, talking about? And it could literally could have nothing to do with this lesson but something might have confirmed or triggered or um, was a big aha for you and I will go first um, and I'll say I'll say the obvious the obvious is for me and I've been doing this work for many years it's about slowing down it's about just going ah, I'm gonna trust in this moment and so that's my big takeaway. My big takeaway is that, and all, always my, um, my takeaway really is uh, gratitude and appreciation for everyone um, just being here and putting your peace first. That's what I'm taking away. Who's going to go next? Please say your name first. This is Sparkle, and I'm taking away um, that, of course, I've always seen my own frailty, but... I see it in a different light, knowing that beyond that, 
I have the strength of God, which I trust. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you, Sparkle. Who's next? Barbara, you know, if we love and trust the world as God has wants us to do, there's no reason to have other things going on. So just live life, be happy, have fun, and enjoy. And, you know, let's make lemonade. It's wonderful. It tastes so good in the summertime. <laughs> I love that. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Great to have you back. You're welcome. And if you didn't hear and you know what? I want to thank everybody tonight. This has been a very special one tonight for me. And I related very closely to everyone. So thank you so much, and have a good week. You're so welcome. Thank you. And Barbara, I, w- I would say that um, if you haven't listened to last week's recording, it's really I good. Will. <laughs> now, I will. I, now, I have to tell you, I've already been online for the last two weeks. Things weren't working. And you know, like you said earlier, well, so maybe, it's not meant, maybe it's not meant to be. So that's right. That's where it is. Good. Thank you, Barbara. I'm enjoying the moment next? today, and tomorrow I can hardly wait. More Yay. questions coming in, joy and peace. So, best to all, all of right. you. Amen, sister. Okay. All right. Who's next? Um, Dell hasn't spoken, and Marguerite, if you want to say something else, I mean, you're open to. Yeah, if not, okay. I'll go. This is Dell. Okay, Dale. Just, I just kind of um, was listening to the words, and I actually heard the words, and I just got this peaceful feeling and just a lot of confirmation for me. Mm. Nice. Great. Thank you, Dell. And Dell, um, you have a radio show where you do yes, readings I do. and you teach people, and um, can you mm-hmm. tell just just do a little shout out for yourself about how people can connect with you um, how they connect with you um, actually I'm on Facebook uh, Del Cody Del dot Cody 3 at Facebook dot com uh, from uh, on Twitter it's Del Intuitive 01 at Twitter dot com oh, I like that <laughs> yeah um, Google Plus is uh, Del Cody at gmail dot com, uh, and there's my <laughs> website, so I got the page there too. Um, you have the power dot com. Oh, you have the power. What's like what's it. what's your website? It's uh, you is in y o u have the power within dot com. Great. Right. Yeah. I like that. That's awesome. Thanks. Thank you, Del. Thank you, Del. <laughs> All right, so um, this is the portion of the call where um, I do a little shameless plug, and here's my shameless plug. My shameless plug is that every week I have a show with my colleague, Polly Wyram, who's an amazing spiritual um, intuitive, and we do a show called Divine Messages, and it is tomorrow at um, at um, 3 o'clock Pacific Time, um, 6 o'clock Eastern Time, where we give divine messages from spirit, and we also have guests on the show. Um, so if you – and if you would like to be on the show, you can find out at, at attractpositiveresults.com. Um, and so there's that. There's the Periscope thing. So if you're – I said that before, but I'm going to be sharing that more. Um and also, if you feel that you had value from tonight's call, if you feel that you've gained some knowledge from the, tonight's call, you can go to attractpositiveresults.com to the a, uh, um, ACIM study page. There's a donation, and I, don't, I do not charge for these calls. I just ask if, if you feel you had value from them. There's a donation button on there, and I have a suggested donation of $10 a call. You can give more or less, or you can give nothing, and you'll still be welcomed here, and it's all good. Um, so I want to tell you that, and um, and yeah, and if you really, I mean, really, what I'm doing on the Periscope thing, I have to say, you know, it's it's pretty powerful stuff, and I'd love to have you there too. And that costs nothing; it's all 
free of charge, and it's all about helping you wow. to really attract your positive results in your life. So, uh, and one more shameless plug. Ready? Here's the other, uh, the other shameless plug: is that um, my whole Law of Attraction video course, which is my signature course, which is all about how to attract whatever you want in your life, is only $25 right now, and it is on the store on attractpositiveresults.com. It's only $25. It's usually $147, and it's going away at the end of July, which is two days. So if you want to get that, it's $25. And if... Um, if you are interested in a private reading with me, an intuitive reading, it's a two-for-one deal right now. It's, um, you'll save $150. And if you want to do that, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to do that, too, if you, if you feel so moved to do that. Um, and after that, it goes back up to $150 one session. You can do it with a, with a friend, or you can, you can even schedule two sessions over the next year if, you, if you'd like to do that. So. So that's all there, and that's and that's my spiel. Um, any questions? Any questions? Soon I about will. Any... Say again. Um, I'm on disability funny. right now, but things are coming around, and yes, that's I'm right. Funny. Very well, I want good. To. You're I need try... to. I love it. I'm studying this alone would... for a long time, and it's kind of tough. Good. It's it's not tough. It's in the process of getting easier. Hello. It's in the process of getting easier. No, you're right. You're right. But it's nice to have someone. (laughs) Right. In the process of flow. There it is. So, so, oop. There it is. So, um, I would encourage you, if you haven't taken, um, I'm just shameless plug again. If you haven't taken my, Dell has taken the whole law of attraction class, and she understands how valuable it is. Right, Del? Yes, I do. It's very powerful. It's powerful. And I'm and you know what? I mean I am I do have a business. I, this is what I do for a living. So, you know what? Twenty five dollars really. Uh I mean it might seem a lot to some people, but really for twenty five dollars to really get all of the tools that you need to attract what you want. It's kind of a no-brainer. There's there's my salesman right there. My salesman book went. Hey Amen. It's kind of a no-brainer. I have twenty-two dollars. <laughs> okay. So you you can attract three dollars in a second. Anyway, I'm not going to push that. So I love you all. We're going to oh. be here every single week at Wednesday night at six o'clock Pacific, and we will be here next week. So I hope.